Hey everybody, Michael Broning here. I want to do this quick little video to show you how to get rid of unwanted measures at the top of a song. Um, there's a way to do it. Um, if you don't hit a specific button, it can go wrong. So I will, uh, hopefully this will correct a problem some of you are having. Um, I am pulling up this song here. Uh, I'm about to export some files to some musicians. Um, and I have six measures here at the top that I don't need. Um, basically, only one track is being used. It's the it's just a drum groove, um, which I'm using as a click to help the musicians come in. Uh, but I don't need six measures. I only need two. So what I want to do is get rid of these top four measures. So I'm going to show you what a lot of you do um, and what I used to do uh, that's wrong. Um, and I'll then show you the correct button to push to, to solve the problem. So first thing I'm going to do is select all. You can either go up here to the menu, select all, or you can go control A. We'll go control A, highlight first four measures. So if I just hit delete, all it does is delete the track that had the content, which was this drum track. It didn't erase the measures. And that's not what we want. We actually want to get rid of those four measures. So here's what you do. I'm going to undo that. Same thing. Control A, select all. Highlight those first four measures. And now we're going to go to the upper right corner and you'll see this. Enable, disable, ripple, edit all. Okay. Click that and now hit delete. Boom. They're done. Now we got rid of our top four measures and we have just the, the front two. So that's how you do it. Make sure when you're done, you deselect it so you don't run into problems later. Uh, but that's how you get rid of unwanted measures at the top. I uh, hope this helped. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.